You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. My name is Anina. I'm the CEO and founder at 360 Fashion Network. So 360 Fashion Network, we are um, the you know, really great company that build a bridge between fashion and technology. We produce the three largest fashion tech events in China, uh, where 110,000 people come to our events. We also have a history of building and combining mobile and fashion. And just recently, uh, thanks to our most recent event, which is a wearable technology runway show, we are now, we were catapulted into the center of the wearable, wearable landscape. Uh, one is an exhibition, so interactive, that's been going for four years. We have the 3D Festival, which is during Beijing Design Week, so it's fashion, design, and um, art, right? So a little bit wider. The government asked me to, could you go a little wider than fashion? And I was like, okay. And in that one, we do workshops, so big companies come in with a tech, and then we, you know, get like, you know, 78 people together, and I guess I learned they're called hackathons here, but but I call them workshops, you know, and then we make them like talk or focus group or work together, and then things come out. They make stuff, and at the end of the Beijing Design Week, we show things, right? And, uh, and the latest event that we do is at the uh, Mobile World Congress Shanghai, and that is the fashion and wearable, 360 fashion and technology runway show. And, and you might ask like, oh, why, you know? It's because um, as we are entering into this new hybrid of fashion tech in the wearable realm, I think that we need a new way, a new paradigm, a new way to display technology on the say it's a tech show right and the classic tech show I'm sure you've seen them at CES and everywhere it's just models and they're like got a flip and they go like this and they walk down the runway well I'd really love first to find companies uh, either wearable tech companies who are funded who um, are looking for the right venues to uh, build their brand and to storytell. And rather than them getting up on a stage and doing a PPT and, you know, demoing it like that, like, I think we can do a lot better and we can reach a wider audience, right? And, and because this kind of footage can storytell into your customers, right? Because they're not gonna sit there and watch PPT and be like, only the techie geeky people are gonna do that. But this type of storytelling on a, on a theatrical way, the video can go out there and people go like, oh wow, I saw this cool like watch and the watch knew where I was and knew the weather and it suggested the model on stage that she get a raincoat and yeah, I need that, right? And so I think that it can help build their brand and generate sales. And, you know, why not, uh, you know, give our fashion show a try? And plus then you have large companies that, you know, want to be associated with, um, again, with the cutting edge communication that they themselves have a, maybe a back end technology. And uh, with them, we can create uh, you know, a, a, a counterpart, like a, a wearable, so that they can show an interactivity, or in our expo, we can build like an actual demo of what their software does, right? So that they can then communicate that in a visual language to their potential customers. A lot of people are like, oh, you should do this in New York, and oh, you should do this in LA. And I'm like, yeah, there could be, you know, spin-off versions of it there. But actually, because it's a tech show, people think it's a fashion show, but it's a tech show, I think that um, the Bay Area could really benefit from a high artistic, high fashion feeling sprinkled in among great talks, asking real questions, getting fashion and tech together, like high-level professionals, right, um, at our event December 8th 
You know, we had, you know, um, the CEO of Tarte. It's a 20-year-old brand. That guy knows exactly what's going on. You know, he's not like some young little designer that has like a little atelier. That has value too. But we need to get like serious people together discussing how are we going to solve these problems. And then, you know, there's always the question like just because we can, should we? Right? Just because that chip can be, you know, stuck into clothing or those lights can flash, should we do that? Right? And so People be, need to be aware, you know, fashion brands need to be aware of what exists today. And then tech companies need to learn, you know, the art of subtlety. <laughs> so that, you know, we start creating things that people actually want to wear.